Towering poles seem to spring up on Long Island overnight, capped with cell phone booster equipment on some neighborhood streets. And now a lot of people are asking, what is going on? CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan with the exclusive story from Huntington. Supposedly the signal goes up, but yeah. we're getting it directly. The Abrahams awoke this week to an unwanted surprise. A new poll with a cell phone booster box and converters pointed at their Huntington home. We don't know of the health effects of it. We do know that there are electromagnetic waves. I don't want it on my property. I don't want it adjacent to my property and my children. The Abrahams and their neighbors claim no one in the town alerted the community that it was entering an agreement with a giant telecom company to install 166 of these repeaters throughout their neighborhoods filled with hilly terrain. I want answers from Town Hall how the permits were passed. I want to know why we weren't told about it. A public hearing was held in July called Crown Castle Presentation, but apparently few knew that was the company seeking to rent space on the polls to multiple cell phone providers. Huntington Town claims it has limited authority and that the antennas pass government health and safety testing. Why do we need these? The determination is made by the communications companies under federal communications law, what Crown Castle has told the town that this is designed to fill in gaps in cell phone service in the town, places where people have trouble getting calls out. And that's what And it's not a money needed. making venture for the town. No. Huntington stands to make about $230,000 in permit fees and 5% of future monthly gross revenue for 10 years for equipment placed in right of ways. It feels as if the town can do whatever they want. The town supervisor now wants to question Crown Castle about its protocol, installing poles and boosters over the weekend without first informing homeowners. Our calls to the telecom company were not returned. From Huntington, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.